Hey everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install the refined storage mod in Minecraft 1.16.2. We're going to be going over every single step of getting refined storage set up, installed, and added to Minecraft. But what is refined storage? Well, as you can see here, it's a mass storage mod that offers players a network-based storage system, allowing them to store items and fluids on a massively expandable device network. So this is very similar to Applied Energistics, which we just did a tutorial about last week, but this is updated, and it's a bit more stable for Minecraft 1.16.2 than Applied Energistics is. However, it's also a bit smaller. It doesn't have all the ores and things like that uh, to the extent that Applied Energistics does have. So this is basically just a storage system. So as you can see, there's a grid-based storage system. You do have different drives and things like that that you can get with it, and then you can pull those on up in yeah, this grid system. There's a crafter. There's all that stuff. So pretty cool stuff there. And uh, overall, just a awesome sort of storage system that takes storage to a new level and adds in different tech style storage stuff, which I love to see. But first, we do have a more sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below at the breakdown .xyz Apex. Get an incredible 24-hour DNOS checked in Minecraft server for you and your friends. We actually love Apex so much that we host our own server, played our breakdowncraft.com on them. So if you look for a great server for you and your friends to love and enjoy, check out Apex at the first link down below at the breakdown .xyz Apex. Get an incredible server up and running. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and get refined storage. To do that, you want to go to the second link down below. That's going to take you here. This is the official refined storage download page. We're going to, want to come over to the right hand side and scroll down until you find the Minecraft 1.16 section. And then under that you want to find refined storage and click on the purple download button to the right of that. And then go ahead and start downloading. Well it takes off to a page where after five seconds it will start downloading and it will download in the bottom left on Google Chrome and it'll pop up in the center of your screen on Mozilla Firefox. Either way you'll need to keep the file on Google Chrome in the bottom left or save the file in the center of your screen on Mozilla Firefox depending on the browser you have. It depends on whether you save it or you keep it, but either way, it is 100% safe, and as you can see, it says refined storage in the title there, so we know it's safe. Now, we aren't done downloading just yet. We still need to download Forge. Now, if you go to the description down below, you'll be taken here at the third link in the description down below. You'll be taken here. This is our official Forge download, so... When you're here, this is an in-depth Forge tutorial. Right now, I'm going to be covering the basics of Forge and do a little bit of troubleshooting for Forge in this video, but this is our in-depth video on Forge. Literally, the video you're watching now is as long as our in-depth Forge video, so you can understand how we really do go in-depth when we show you how to install Forge. So anyway, if you do have any issues, come here to this tutorial and go through it. Otherwise, when you're on this tutorial, just click on the green Download Forge button. That will then take us to Forge's official website, where we want to make sure that it says MC 1.16.2 here. As you can see, it says 1.15, so that's not correct. Correct, we need to click the plus 1.16 button in the top left and then click on 1.16.2. Once you have MC 1.16.2 appearing here, come under Download Latest and click on the Installer button. That will then take us off to Add Focus, where wait before you click anything on this page, stop. Don't click a thing on this page. Don't click anything at all on this page. Do not click a single download button on this page. Are you hearing me? Do not click any button on this page except the red skip button in the top right. The only button you want to click on this page is the red skip button in the top right. When you click on that red skip button in the bottom left on Google Chrome or in the center of your screen on Mozilla Firefox, a pop-up will appear and it should say Forge in the title. If it does, you can go ahead and click Keep. It should, by the way, if you click that red skip button and that's all you clicked, click that red skip button. It'll download Forge in the bottom left where you can keep the file or in the center of your screen it'll download Forge on Mozilla Firefox where you can save the file. But if for whatever reason it doesn't say Forge in the download, discard of it, get rid of it, and then just click the red skip button in the top right, and then Forge will begin downloading. Now we can finally minimize our browser. And here on our desktop, we have Forge and Refined Storage. If these aren't on your desktop, no worries. They're going to be found in your downloads folder. To find that, click the little icon. It's in the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen, but it's the little Windows icon on the top or bottom left of your screen. And then go ahead and type in Downloads. You have this Downloads file folder in Windows. Click on that. And in here, you'll find Forge and Refined Storage. Drag these to your desktop just for ease of use. Now that these are on your desktop, we're actually going to be starting off with Forge. So to do that, go ahead and right-click on it. Click on Open With, and then click on Java. However, if you don't have Java here, or if these uh, don't look quite correct, they don't look like little coffee cup logos, these Java logos here, what do you do? Well, in that case, if you don't have Java or you just want to make these look correct, what you want to do is go to the description down below and go here. This is our in-depth tutorial for downloading and installing Java for Minecraft mods. Refined storage being a Minecraft mod needs this version of Java. So when you're here, go through this little five or three-step tutorial, three-step tutorial, 
and then you should be able to open up Forge, you should have Java there, and you should be good to go. Otherwise, if you still have issues, you need to run the jar fix, and what this is going to do is make all the .jar files from your computer link to Java once again, and make all those logos appear like mine do, so like this right here. Finally though, we can go ahead and right click on Forge, click on Open With, and then click on Java and click OK. Now we'll open up the mod system installer for Forge, where all we need to do is click on Install Client and click OK and then download, do some things, set some things up, make some things happen, and eventually it will say it's successfully installed Client Profile Forge for version 1.16.2. So it's gonna pop up. As you can see, successfully installed Client Profile Forge for version 1.16.2. Yours may be a little different, but no matter what, it'll start with the word successfully, and that means, well, it was successful. Now we can go ahead and click OK there. It'll close out of that. You can delete Forge off your desktop if you want. Sometimes you can't delete it until you've opened and closed Minecraft. We're about to do that, but nevertheless, you don't have to keep Forge on your desktop forever. Now let's install refined storage. To do that, we want to open up the Minecraft launcher, right like so. And then once we got the Minecraft launcher open, we want to find the Forge profile. To do that, click the little arrow to the left of the play button here. Now you probably have Rayless release or something like that. You want to click on that little arrow there and then find Forge. Click on Forge and it should say 1.16.2-Forge under it. But what if it doesn't? Or what if you don't have a Forge profile at all? So what if you don't have a Forge profile or the Forge profile you have says so like 1.15 or something under it? Well, in that case, you want to click on the installations tab up here at the top of, top of Minecraft. Right, just click on this installations tab up here at the top of Minecraft, and then click on this plus new button. Now you can name this whatever you want. I'm gonna name it play.breakdowncraft.com. Well, I'm gonna name it that because that's our own incredible grief protected Minecraft server with medieval survivor having a player based economy and 30 custom quests and aquatic survival having an amazing slash shop based economy. Then we also have amazing skyblock 100% custom 1.8 PvP custom islands OP enchants. It's incredible. And then last but not least, we have factions with small 10 player team based factions. Everything is custom in factions, custom factions menus, so much stuff. So come play with us. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP, and I can't wait to see you online. Now for version, we want to click on this version drop down box here and find 1.16.2 Forge. So we need to find the release that has dash Forge in it there. So mine is up here at the top. You may have to scroll all the way down to the bottom of your version list to find yours, but somewhere in here you will have a release 1.16.2 Forge. So go ahead and click on that. Then we want to change our resolution to 1920 by 1080, right like so. And then I'm going to change my resolution to 1920 by 1080. You don't have to do that, but we're making a video and that'll allow you all to see better in game. And then we click on the green create button in the bottom right. Now down here at the bottom, we have our new profile, play.breakdowncraft.com. But most importantly, it says 1.16.2 forge under it. That means we're going to go. We can go ahead and hover over this and click the green play button. Now Minecraft is going to go ahead and open up and get things rocking and rolling and moving and grooving and all that stuff. And then once it is open, once Minecraft is open, we will be able to uh, get refined storage installed. So the hard part is done. Getting Forge open is actually the hardest part of installing Minecraft mods. From this point, it is quick, it is easy, and it's literally just click a few buttons and drag it. It's that simple. Nonetheless, you are done with the hardest part of getting Forge mods and getting Minecraft mods in general, and specifically getting refined storage installed. So if you made it this far, you're in the home stretch. Congratulations. Give the video a like. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and click on the Mods tab here. So once you're on the Minecraft main menu, just click on the Mods tab, and then click on the Open Mods folder button in the bottom left. So again, click on the Mods tab, and then click on the Open Mods folder button in the bottom left. That will then open up, well, your Mods folder, where all you want to do is take Refined Storage and drag and drop it from your desktop into your Mods folder, right like so. Now we want to go ahead and close out of this Mods folder, and if we come back to Minecraft, it's not here! And it's not going to appear here, ever, until we click Done, and then click Quit Game. Now don't worry, this time you don't have to do anything complicated. Just open up the Minecraft launcher and you've already got your profile set up. So make sure you have selected next to the play button either your Forge profile or your new profile you created in our case, play.breakdowncraft.com. Make sure it says 1.16.2-Forge. And then guess what? Slap that green play button. You are done. It is that simple. And in the up like installation process, the opening up process here, you will see it finds three mods. And one of those mods is Refined Storage 1.9.5 in our case, but it's Refined Storage. Right? Your version is probably going to be different than ours, but that's okay. Nevertheless, once we are in Minecraft main menu, I'll confirm it there. And we're going to jump in game and show you this mod. Not a mod overview or anything. Is in fact installed and working in 1.16.2. But nevertheless, we are opening up to the Minecraft main menu, right like so. And once we're here on the main menu, we can go ahead and click on the mods tab. Oh, it's taking a minute to open. There we go. Uh, by the way, that's normal. When you have mods installed, it takes a freeze just right at the last second. You're like, is it crashing? No. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and click on the mods button there. And there is refined storage up and running and working perfectly. As you can see, an elegant solution to your hoarding problem. Then we can jump into single player. I'm going to actually clean this up. Just I know this is not like the, the time to do this in the middle of a tutorial, but it, it's bad, everybody. Like it's, it's pretty bad how like much stuff we have like installed here. So we're just going to like delete all of this. 
that. We'll just, we'll just delete everything, and then we'll just create a brand new world called Refined Storage. There we go, and we'll make this creative, just so we can make things easier, and cheats are on. Okay, cool, create new world. So we're gonna load on into this world. Once we're in here, I will show you Refined Storage, and we'll be good to go. So here we are in game. We can go ahead and open up our inventory, click over, and here is Refined Storage. As you can see, we have all the different drives and all the different stuff like that. I believe we go ahead and grab ourselves uh, where's the drive bays at? I don't have as much uh, experience with this as I do uh, AE2, so give me give me a second, like, you know, bear with me here on this, and make sure that I uh, I can you know do all this correctly because I, I don't know if I'm going to. All right, but nevertheless, we are just proving that this is working, and we can do that. We can add in these disks right like so. As you can see, we now have 4.2 megabytes of storage, and we can set priorities. Wow, this is actually pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. And we need some sort of an access panel. I'm gonna be guessing some way to access this. Let's see here. Oh, there's a controller. We've got, oh, we've got like, oh, okay, creative controller. Yes, let's go ahead and add that. Boom, that powered the drives on. I like it, I like it. And then now we're gonna to need to be able to access this somehow. Doing this off the top of my head, I am pretty proud of myself. I'm not going to lie, everybody, I'm not gonna lie. So we have a crafter here. Is this what we need, the crafter added onto it? Let's see, boom, crafter. So that's gonna allow us to craft stuff, that's cool. That's cool, but not what we're looking for. Um, this this is this is very very cool, but also you can tell. Oh, interface. I'm sure that's what we need. Yeah, just uh, just an interface there. Bam, and import interface. Okay, okay, import export. All right. Let's see. What if we put something in here? What happens? I don't know. All right. Let's see. That's not what I was looking for. I this is this is cool. There's a lot going on here. I will say that, and it, it's one of those things that I have never. I've never, I've never had experience with this mod, which is kind of interesting. There's most mods I have some sort of experience with, but I, I don't have much of any experience with this one. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to lie to you, everybody. But yeah, there you go. I don't think there's any denying that it's installed. I just don't know how to, uh, to work on it correctly. So we've got an importer here. Ooh, okay. I think I get it. I think I understand now. So that goes there, and I'm guessing this is going to hook. It's going to hook to just a vanilla chest, and then anything in this chest is going to get imported. Is that what's about to happen? Boom. Maybe, maybe, maybe. No, it's not connecting. Anyway, I don't know. I'm sorry, everybody. I'm trying my best here, but I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content every single day of the week. We do post these incredible mod tutorials and all sorts of different, you know, videos on Minecraft and everything like that. And sometimes I actually know what I'm doing more than this once we get in game. Not all the time. <laughs> not all the time, but some of the time. And that is what is important. So thank you also so much for watching. Enjoy your new mod here as uh, you go and learn it much better through other things better than what you have here because it's not that great but yeah anyway my name is nick this has been the breakdown thank you so so much for watching and i'm out peace